Meghan arrogated her full force on royal family after extolled to the skies by Hillary Mantle. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are said to be enjoying their lives as an independent family having left the royal family in 2020. Makeup artist Daniel Martin spoke of his recent reunion with the Sussexes as they made an appearance in New York last month. He opened up on his recent work with the Sussexes, describing how relaxed they have been while going to various events. Mr. Martin told People magazine, It was so much fun to have all of us back together again. It was chill and relaxed, like the gang was back together. Harry jokes around a lot, and Meghan is really funny. It was nice to have those belly laughs again. They are loving life as a family of four. They've struck a rhythm as a foursome. Harry and Meghan have been open about their struggles regarding their exit from the royal family. British writer Dame Hilary Mantle claimed in October 2020 that Meghan was too good to be true for the royal family and hit out at the firm. She told Harper's Bazaar, I think that Meghan was too good to be true. She was a smiling face in a dull institution, she cheered the nation up no end, or at least men and women of good will. Referring to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's decision to step back as senior members of the royal family, she added, I'm pleased that it's the marriage that's surviving and the connection with the monarchy that has to go, because I think almost all of us would have bet that if she left, she'd have to leave alone. Though, none of us know the details of how this is going to work out. In her interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan alleged that she was denied help amid her mental health struggles. Following the airing of the interview, Buckingham Palace issued a statement saying it's saddened by the allegations, but added that some recollections may vary. Hillary previously was criticized in 2013 for a speech in which she described the Duchess of Cambridge, 38, as a shop window mannequin. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced in January they would be stepping down as senior royals and splitting their time between the UK and North America. Hillary also spoke to BBC this week about the racism she feels Meghan suffered in the public eye. She said, I hesitate to call her a victim. But I think there has been an element of racism in the invective against her. I think it's more deeply embedded in people's consciousness than any of us are willing to admit. Prince Harry himself spoke out in 2016 about coverage of Meghan saying there was racial undertones. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will officially leave royal duties this month, after a handful of engagements this week. Their last official engagement is expected to be the annual Commonwealth Day service on March 9 with the Queen, Kate, and Prince William. They will then head back to Vancouver to start their new, financially independent life. Hillary's new book, The Mirror and the Light, is the third and long-awaited final installment in the Wolf Hall trilogy. The previous two books in the series, Wolf Hall and Bring Up the Bodies, both won the Booker Prize. If her new book also gets honored, she will be the first author in history to win the award three times. We shared how the Queen told Prince Harry he'll always be welcomed back in for our heart-to-heart to heal Megxit Rift. Harry has returned to the UK for his last whirlwind of engagements, first giving an eco-talk in Scotland before joining Bon Jovi to promote the Invictus Games.